Sodium. The first thing that might come to your mind is salt, that thing you put on your dinner. But really, sodium is only part of what composes table salt. Pure sodium looks like this. But you probably would not know that because sodium is not found naturally. So you may be wondering, if it is not found naturally, how and who discovered it? Well, before 1807, sodium was actually mistaken for another alkali metal potassium until Sir Humphrey Davy isolated it and made the distinction. Sodium got its name from the word soda, or suda, which means headache remedy. It was named this because sodium compounds were once used as relief from headaches. Sodium has an atomic number of 11 and has one valence electron. Since it has one valence electron, it is highly reactive to halogens. The most common bond that we see is table salt. It is sodium giving the halogen chlorine its valence electron. Salt not only makes our food taste better, but it gives us the sodium we need to be healthy. Do not get the wrong idea and start putting salt on everything to be healthy. Actually, the average American takes in more than twice the recommended amount needed to have optimal heart health. The average sodium content in an adult body is only 0.14%. Not only can sodium be found in our food and in our bodies, but it is in the ocean and even the Earth's crust. So now that we know that sodium is in the ocean, what if I told you that sodium reacts with water like this? Well, the reason sodium in the ocean does not do this is sea salt is actually the same chemical makeup as table salt. So sodium does not react the same since it is bonded. Just remember that slipping salt in someone's drink as a prank is totally different than putting sodium in it. I was going to try to put some jokes about sodium, but I decided, nah, nah.